You know, Mewtwo raids have been out for like four days now, and we know that Bug Terra Mew is the best way to go with this one. And that you either need one attacker and three supporters, or three attackers and one supporter in order to beat this raid. But what happens after you do this like four or five times? Odds are, if you're like me, you get pretty bored with it. And I don't like doing boring things over and over again. So I'm on a quest to find the silliest Pokemon you can use to take down 7 Star Mewtwo for anybody that's looking for a little bit of fun with this one. And today, we got a good one. Today, we're going to look at a very unassuming little fish and how its ability combined with its moveset just absolutely dominates a 7 Star Mewtwo raid. So today, let's take a look at Bruxish and how you're going to use him to take down 7 Star Mewtwo the Unrivaled. Now, Bruxish in and of itself is a very funny looking little fish. Uh, which makes this even better than he can take on Mewtwo. But he is also water and psychic type, which means that he is going to naturally resist all three attacks that Mewtwo has, which means that up until the point that we Terra, we're really in a good spot. We don't have to worry about Mewtwo doing tons of damage to us. Our Terra type is dark, and I know what you're going to say, but DK, what about Aura Sphere? Trust me, I've taken that into account. Anything less than a crit, you're going to, or anything other than a crit, you're gonna be fine on this one. Held item is the metronome as it has been for most of the builds that we've done with this one. I know there's a lot of controversy around it because not everybody likes it. Trust me for this one, it gets the job done and it's honestly the best choice for this. And we're level 100 as always because you know, it's gotta be level 100. Now, as far as EVs go for this one, we have kind of an interesting build and you'll see this on screen for anybody that's curious on how to build this. But we didn't max out two stats on this one. We actually maxed out our HP, so 252 EVs in that. But then we went and put 80 EVs into our physical attack just to give Bruxish a little bit more damage and make sure that this does, uh, this one gets through the raid with plenty of time left on the clock. We also went ahead and did uh, 172 EVs into our special defense that puts our attack and special defense at that other 252 that we can use and the rest of it we went ahead and put into our physical defense on this one uh this build the evs are kind of weird but it gives us a nice balance of defense as well as physical attack your ability is strong jaw which is the most important thing to have with this build because Strong Jaw makes it so that Biting Moves do an additional 50% damage. Which means that our moveset is very highly influenced by that. Bruxish naturally is a, uh, a special attacker. We went ahead and made this guy a physical attacker. Because, it, trust me, it's worth it. So, uh, for our moveset on this one, we have Bite, which gives us a chance of flinching. Uh, and is 60 base power, but with strong jaw becomes 90 base power. Crunch, which is 80 base power, and has the chance of lowering your target's defense stat, which is perfect for us, and is not 80 base power. It's actually 120 base power with strong jaw. Light screen, if you don't have uh, a Grim Snarl on your team, so that way you can set up light screen by yourself. Super key to surviving in this one. And this, of course, sword stance to boost our attack up. With the strat here being to hop in, if you're doing this in a raid online with randoms, you're going to use light screen first turn, because odds are nobody else is going to do it. Use sword stance three times to get yourself at plus six, and then you're just going to start spamming crunch. Crunch is 120 base power, um, and then with the added metronome stack on top of that, means that by the time you're doing like five of these on the fifth one, you're doing insane amounts of damage. Uh, and that's pretty much it. That's the strat. Whenever Mewtwo clears, you just use Sword Stance again three times and go back to using Crunch. That's all you have to do. Once Shield is broken, this move does absurd amounts of damage. But don't take my word for it. Let's take a look at what this looks like in a raid. All right, let's do this again. So we're running this uh, with Broxish of all Pokemon. Uh, two support Mews and Grim Snarl uh, as support. Nobody is doing any damage on this one other than me. Uh, so that is very important to note on this one because, you know, that's kind of the whole thing with this is uh, Bruxish can beat this. Uh, so Mewtwo starts off Calm Mind Shield. We're going to start off turn one with Sword Stance. 
Bruxish's big thing uh, with this one is it has crunch and it has strong jaw. Strong jaw is an ability that gives 50% extra base power to uh, biting moves. So crunch, instead of being an 80 base power move, is actually base 120, uh, which is huge uh, for this. We're going to Dark Terra at some point here. Uh, Dark Terra is going to be kind of massively important here to do tons of damage. Uh, and we're also going to want to make sure that everybody stays healed up on this one. Uh, Mewtwo is notorious for just spamming Calm Mind, especially when the AI doesn't know what to do. Uh, so, for example, this time we've got uh, two people that are already uh, almost, like, they're pretty low. Uh, because Mewtwo is doing nothing but Calm Mind on this. So, hopefully, uh, one of these guys does a life do here sometime soon. And keeps everybody uh, up and going. Crunch does quite a bit of damage. Which is... Okay. Um, as we're going through this... Our big thing right now is we're just waiting to be able to Terra. Once we Terrastalize, we will be immune to Psy Strike. Uh, however, Aura Sphere will start doing absurd amounts of damage to us. So, this is the point where we Terrastalize that people need to make sure that uh, we stay alive. Alright, so now we have Terra Dark Crunch and we're already at 3 with Metronome. We start doing massive chunks of damage here. I actually think Bruxish may do uh, the most damage out of any one of these that we've done so far. Mewtwo comes in with Aura Sphere. It does basically nothing. The biggest threat here is getting crit. Uh, and a crit here would be absolutely terrifying. So if we're lucky, like right now, we should be able to get off three of these uh, crunches before... Mewtwo decides to clear our stats and his stats, just like so. We are almost... There we go. Stat clear. Uh, we're almost out of shield already. So this is kind of the important time where we need to make sure that everybody is working together. Uh, that Mewtwo stays at minus six. And that we get plenty of heals. There we go. He removes stats from himself. Uh, because at this point, if we get crit by an Aura Sphere, like that, almost like that, uh, things are going to end very, very badly for us. So, attack raises sharply at this point. We are at plus four, I believe, right now, which is phenomenal. We get another life due in here that puts us back up uh, about to where we want to be. We're going to use Sword Stance. Mewtwo does Aura Sphere. It hits pretty hard, but now that we're using Struggle Bug... It's not nearly as bad. Maybe we can get one more heal in here and uh, things will be able to be good before we start attacking. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to run Crunch on this one. Uh, we get a Life Dew, which is super key here. Make sure that we get some heals back. We do Crunch. Timer is caught back up with us. Not anymore, though, because we're restarting Metronome. Uh, and at this point, Grimstarl needs to get ready for terrain. Uh, because the misty terrain here is going to be kind of super key for us to be able to do this. Bruxish does crunch. Does sick amounts of damage to Mewtwo. We're staying healed up, which is phenomenal. Uh, we're going to get ready. Uh, because this shouldn't put Mewtwo down through. Misty Terrain goes out. Uh, we want to make sure that we're prepared just in case we do do a ton of damage here. We're almost at shield, which is perfect timing. We got a crit on that one, which is huge. Uh, and at this point, we're getting ready to put Mewtwo through shield. Aura Sphere, as long as it doesn't crit, which it doesn't, does basically nothing at this point. Through shield, we've got well over half the time left. And at this point... Once we come in and we start doing crunch at, like, five, uh, like, five metronomes is going to be super important. Or is going to do just ridiculous amounts of damage here. So, Bruxus does crunch at this point. We come in. Terra Dark Crunch. 
Huge damage. Huge chunks of health. Mewtwo removes effects from our side. That's fine. Struggle Bug is going to start doing all of the work here. Mewtwo does Aura Sphere. Doesn't do anything to us uh, because he's at minus six. Big thing right here is for people to make sure that uh, HP stays up. So hopefully one of my guys makes sure this happens. Uh, Mewtwo tries to do Psy Strike for whatever reason, not realizing that it does not affect Dark Terra Bruxish. Aura Sphere does nothing to us. Second Sword Stance puts us at plus four. Uh, Struggle Bug keeps him down at like minus six. I could really use a life do at this point uh, because that's going to be kind of really important here. Uh, there we go. Good. I'm at 255. Mewtwo does Aura Sphere. Puts me down at 205. But at this point, I'm at plus six. And we're ready to go back and start using Crunch again. So we come in. Mewtwo will not clear again before the end of the raid. He does Aura Sphere. It does some damage to us. We're in the yellow. So at this point, it's really a matter of who's going to heal us first. Just like that. Crunch, since we're starting over, is already doing ridiculous amounts of damage. Uh, but now that we're going in succession with Crunch, yeah. We're going to start hitting really hard. Light screen from Grimmsnarl. Super important. Attack cheer. Crunch. Puts Mewtwo down at the red. We've still got half time left. He does call mind thinking that he's going to actually do something. Except Struggle Bug puts him back down uh, where he was at. We come in with Crunch one more time. Hopefully we survive Aura Sphere. Oh, we do easy. Spirit Break does nothing. Mud Slap, nothing. Crunch comes in all the damage and if i'm correct uh that should have been the end of mewtwo but apparently he's gonna survive this with like a sliver of hp or a sphere does nothing crunch one more time dark terra bruxish boom mewtwo the unrivaled half the time left on the clock only person doing damage on the field any noticeable damage is bruxish and that's it that is uh, further proof that this raid is not as hard as people think it is, as long as you have a solid team and some coordination. Uh, I was the only one doing damage there. So, so far we have proved that a chrome-painted uh, bug can do this, a grasshopper can do this, and now a silly little fish can take down you to the unrivaled. But there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you are going to use this tiny little goofy-looking fish to take down seven star Mewtwo the Unrival. Uh, this one, I think, does more damage than Low Kicks and Scyther did, but carries the additional risk of being Dark Terra. And Dark Terra on this one with Aura Sphere is, man, it's a gamble. So use this one at your own risk. And as always, remember, this one is not supposed to be one that you hop in on randoms with. If you're gonna do randoms, Use your physical bug Terra Mew. Don't torture the people online. But if you have a group of four friends with this one and you guys want to try something different and fun and goofy, make sure and, uh, yeah, make sure and try this one out. But let me know down in the comments below. I want to know what other Pokemon you want to see me test and see if they can take down Mewtwo the Unrivaled. We've done some goofy ones so far, but I know there's other goofy ones out there. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Later.